Hello and welcome to Big Data uh, Platform in Nairobi 2018. And I'm super excited to be joined by Marcelo from uh, Collaborative Platform for Gender Research. Every day we develop or we generate data. How does data relate to gender research, Marcelo? Thank you. Uh, we just had a very exciting session with a lot of participants from the Gender Platform and the, uh, from the Big Data Platform. And what we're trying to get at is that we have a lot of new techniques and new uh, data from big data, but most of them do not explore the gender dimensions of the analysis. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, we have a lot of very interesting gender research, which could be done in a different way using big data techniques. So what we're trying to see is to really understand how these two uh, group, uh, body of knowledge can get, actually get together. And what we're trying to see is how can you use big data this should unlock the potential of the gender research, but also to understand how the gender research can better inform the big data uh, questions, how uh, people have access, different access to technology. Not everybody has the same uh, access to the technology, not, not everybody uses the technology in the same way. So if you really want to have good social economic center development programs and really target things in a nice way, you really have to understand the gender dimensions, and that's valid for any uh, agricultural uh, livestock program and prim also with the, this big data, with all this mobile network data with this new uh, natural language processing, can we really put gender and really understand how we can make better informed uh, policies with the data that we have at hand. Okay. Coming from our Africa Women Agriculture Research and Development, I would uh, not end this conversation without asking, how do you ensure that the data that you generate from the uh, from from your research in, in terms of gender, how does it benefit the the farmers at the at the uh, at the countryside at the farm? How does it help the farmers? That's that's a very relevant question. That's very important. It's really good to know how any uh, result from research actually benefits back to to, back to the farmer and also to the research. Mm -hmm. The, uh, the nice thing with, uh, with new technologies is that you have quicker ways to, to connect, communicate to these people. And you should not assume that technology speak for themselves, but also you have to understand there's a person in the end of the day using this technology. And they have their own uh, barriers and opportunities, and not everybody's the same. So that's, that's actually how you should, uh, should look at the problem. Finally, what's your take from the conference? I think at home at the conference, there, there's a lot of potential. A lot of people know a lot of stuff. There's a lot of uh, uh, cool ideas uh, going on. There's a lot of, of uh, understanding, and people really have to work together. I think that's the key thing. Make multi multidisciplinary uh, teams with people with different uh, knowledge bodies, and if they talk well and they put things together, then you actually get the most out of that. Thank you so much.